Good day, everybody. I'm doing some action cleaning on uh, this SD 1908 Salon organ style D, and I've been I've posted some pictures of the casework and stuff. I've been cleaning and repairing and remaking things and filling bullet holes and all the normal stuff you do with reed organ. And so I'm on the action now. This action is basically a uh, nice shadow there <laughs> actions basically an SD artists organ type action what later became called the SD artist in 1908 they weren't calling this a SD artists organ but it's the same same derivation of action and you can see the entire underside of the uh, soundboard is pallets and they're the um, Oh, abrupt angle change. They're um, they're the kind of bifurcated front valve. You can see right in there the front valve is articulated. It's one long strip of leather and felt. Then there's a lever that then actuates to pull up the rear valve. So the rear valve just pulled up by a button that's adjustable so you can set the set the closure of this valve make sure it closes or and opens wrap promptly enough by adjusting at the button um, so I got to the treble end and I came in for a big surprise and I found out that the rear pallets on this treble end are very intricately done that there's kind of sort of Mason and Hallen style there's a bearer and there's the actual pallet backer itself and it, it is sawn the the wood the eighth inch three sixteenth inch piece of wood that actually carries the felt and leather is just almost sawed through there's a uh, less than a thirty second of an inch of wood remaining at that junction um, so that it can it can uh, adjust itself to any irregularity and seal perfectly. You can see there's two little red dots of felt, little red well, squares of felt, that mount actually mount the pallet to the carrier. So the base valves, the base valves that were covering a much smaller set of apertures, because there's only one set of reeds down in the base side on this. So now here in the treble side where it switches to three sets of reeds, namely the two ranks of the um, aeolian that continues up 61 notes and the, uh, the eight foot oboe rank. So when it switched over to that, they had to make the pallet bigger and to ensure against it ever ciphering or anything, they made that valve also kind of has a little bit of wiggle room in other words to seal. So I wanted to just do a short little presentation of the underside of the action on this thing and 421 reeds so it's seven rows treble six rows bass and um, a 13, 17 note sub bass so, and it breaks at EF below middle C so the sub bass goes up to that E and then the um, the treble the 16 foot clarinet stop takes off so you have a sort of continuous um, 16 foot rank even though the sounds obviously were different. So I haven't heard it yet, really. Um, mainly been doing a lot of case repairs. And I came to this palette, and I just wanted to show how neat and intricate even an, an SD can even be. And, of course, the 1908 leather is just an incredible shape on these. Beautiful. Um, very, still totally soft. And the felt is what we usually see in this era of Oregon. It's this lavender kind of stuff that I call this Angora felt because it's an extremely fine, fine soft wool and it's beautiful soft um, material and it just gives a really great seal. So as long as the moths haven't eaten it because they loved it. Um, and this one so far I haven't found even a nibble on this. Maybe it got this got moth proofed. But I um, love to keep valves like this when they're in this shape. Why on earth would anyone replace them? All right, so take care. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully in a few days be back to give you a sound test on this thing. All right, later.